Okay, so we're in round one, our opponent is playing first, and yes, we can absolutely keep this hand. Um, we will not maul. <laughs> okay, oh, we've got things going on here. Seems like a perfectly reasonable time to do Bump in the Night. We've got our turns already mapped out for us, so... Uh, I mean, I could have get, kept a Geist Flame mana up, but I think I'm going to do Interloper turn 2 any way you look at it. Another black-red deck? That is weird. Alright, well, yeah, we're still looking very good. We are getting out there, being aggressive, more competition, um, I think since he's running white, chance he has moment of heroism or something, or trick of some sort, um, we sort of just gotta get that guy out of the way now, so I think we're going to do so. Lifelink is very anti what we're trying to do. <laughs> Could have progressed the board there, but I, I don't even want to. I don't even want to deal with Life Link at this juncture. I just want to play cards and then kill my opponent. If he plays a Voiceless Angel here, um, Abattoir Goal. That's interesting. I think Feral Ridge Wolf is going to be the next play here. Okay, so get in for two. And we'll play the Ridge Wolf. Um, yeah. So we get another mana, we can do Geist Flame and flash it back and kill that ghoul. Got the bump in the night for our hopefully uh, seal the deal a little bit better, but double abattoir ghoul. Wow, that's pretty nuts. Yeah, we can totally take that. I think that we are doing better on this race right now. Um, yeah, that's good. So now we can do crossway vamp, make it so his dude can't block. Now, I, I have the choice here. Do I want to do 5 to him? I think I want to do 5 to him here. Just while I have this opportunity, I definitely want to take advantage of it, especially since we have a bump in the night in the graveyard and double Geist Flame. So we have a lot of reach right now. Um, all we need literally is like a mana, and he's a bump in the night attack. So that's 3. Yeah, and then we can kill him. So literally... I, I think we're in a position now where if we draw a mana, we, we, we can kill him out. We, we can kill him at that point. I mean, Nightbird's Clutch is in the game is just over, too. So, we, we've got him in a position that's really difficult. Okay, Screeching Bat. It's pretty good right there. I am just going to double Geist Flame that, I believe. Yeah, I don't want him to flip it, and we're still looking good after I use this double Geist Flame. It just sets us, like, one turn back on our plans, maybe. Oh, see if he's got the trick. If he does, then more power to him. I'd rather him use it on his turn. Okay. Well, that worked out, so now we get in for two again. at six so what is the plan now we've got four damage here and then the interloper yeah I mean we have enough to kill him now if we can get one more swing in something big more crap banshee Nothing died though, right? Okay. 
that's that's just fine. Um, I mean, Nightbird's clutches and he's just dead. Walking corpse. That doesn't quite work. Okay, so get in for two. Okay, now I believe the plan is um, I'm going to Geist Flame him at the end of his turn. Yeah, if I Geist Flame him at the end... Well... Hmm. See, if I Geist Flame him at the end of his turn, then if I draw a man, I can just bump in the night, regardless of what he plays. But I also, if I put some pressure on the board... Um, He's definitely not motivated to attack on his next turn. He's got 10 damage on board, too, which is pretty huge. I guess we have Tribute, though. And then we could always get another guy's Flame, too. Bump in the Night. He's... Huh. I think we're just going to do the guy's Flame plan and hope that we draw a land. I mean, we have the we have the lethal amount, so really hope our opponent doesn't have a. That's not going to do it. I was going to say, really hope our opponent doesn't have a uh, way to gain life, like moment of heroism, which I could actually see being good with a card like Rotting Fence Snake. He tapped mana there and then decided not to. That was kind of weird. Skeletal Grimace, okay. I don't think I'm worried about that. Still not attacking. He, I pretty sh At that point, at this point, I think he should be attacking. I don't really see the advantage of not attacking. Still can't get that land, huh? I'm even running 17 now. Okay, so we'll get him for two. And we'll drop guys like it's hot, I guess. So, if I get another attack in, he dies. If I get a land, he dies. Still in a tough spot. Alright, well now he has the out for the interloper, so it really does come down to, I need a land. The creature doesn't deal damage, does it? Okay, good. Okay. So, top decks that will win. Um, a land card, of which there's... So, 12 cards right off the bat that would win the game. Uh, that's kind of weird that he did it with Defense Snake. Not sure... I understand. What was the point of the Skeletal Grimace? Still not attacking. Just curious. So Land will win. Nightbird's Clutches wins. Workout Patrician does not win, though. No. That one does not win. Kind of sucks to be one land away from victory here. <laughs> one land away from victory. Guess we'll play the Patrician. No reason to play the Neonate, since that would just gain my opponent life. Could have also flipped our Village Iron Smith, but didn't quite see the advantage of that. If our opponent had been attacking in, he would look a lot better than he does now. Um, not finding that one land is starting to become more and more of an issue. I can't believe he's not attacking with those Abattoir Ghouls. It doesn't make any sense to me. There we go. Okay. So we'll just bump in the night and finish it. Okay, sweet. We got game one. Uh, black red as well with some white. A weird little color choice there. Um, does any of my removal look bad against him? 
He had the Abattoir Ghoul, so Vampiric, the first strike off Vampiric Fury I could see not even being that important. Um, as usual, uh, Neonates look bad in a place where your opponent has cards like uh, Abattoir Ghoul. But, I mean, we have enough protection where maybe I shouldn't be worrying about that. Um, yeah, I, I, I mean, I, I could consider Skeleton, because he's got the Abattoir Ghouls, and I could, if he ever decides to attack with them, I could see that being a big deal. But... Let's just uh, run it again as is. I don't... I mean, Ancient Grudge for a Blazing Torch seems pretty bad. Although Blazing Torch is reasonably good against us. Uh, yeah, let's just, let's just try this again. 